Today we'll be taking a look at three commercially available products uh, that are slightly radioactive. Those three products are going to be, first of all, Morton uh, Light Salt. And this product is a uh, salt uh, substitute that contains it's 12% sodium and 10% uh, potassium, specifically potassium-40, which is the uh, material that we'll actually be measuring that's uh, slightly radioactive. Second product will be no salt, uh, as it says on the container, sodium-free salt. 0% sodium, 18% potassium in this particular product. So it uh, should be slightly higher as far as radioactivity is concerned than the Morton Light Salt. We'll check that with the uh, survey meter. Third product is going to be uh, Alpha Chemicals uh, Potassium Chloride. Potassium Chloride is a um, common product that you'll find at uh, most of your hardware stores, uh, your Lowe's and your Home Depot. This is 99% pure potassium um, chloride used as a water softener um, as far as industrial use. Uh, medical uses include um, treating low potassium levels in, in blood. One of the darker sides of potassium chloride is it's the uh, third ingredient in, uh, used in lethal injections. Anyway, the uh, survey meter that we'll be using is the Ludlum Measurements uh, Model 3 survey meter with the attached uh, detector, which is a 44.9 alpha, beta, gamma detector. The Potassium-40 that we're going to be measuring in these products is actually a uh, beta and gamma um, emitter and I'm expecting that we'll get some pretty low readings so uh, let's get started. First of all we'll take a background for this particular room so let's uh, turn on our survey meter and I'm going to put it in the times 0 .01 setting very low setting and we'll see what kind of background we get in this room. I've previously measured it. We'll see if we get the same readings that I'm traditionally used to getting in this uh, this area. I'm getting approximately 40 counts per minute, which is about what I expected. That's background. So first of all, let's uh, pour a little bit of this Morton Light Salt into this bowl. It should be enough. And we'll take our Ludlum 44.9 detector here. Put it about an inch away from the uh, exposed Morton Light Salt that's in the bowl. See what kind of reading we get. We don't want to touch the salt directly because we don't want to contaminate our, uh, our detector there. But we can get pretty close. So it's edging up slowly. I've got, got it on the slow setting right now so we can get a little bit more of an accurate reading. Give it a few more seconds here. Okay, with the amount that I poured into the bowl, we're kind of maxing out at about uh, 200 counts, uh, 200 counts per minute. So, we remember we had a background uh, reading of about 140 counts per minute so if we subtract that out of the 200 we're getting about uh, approximately 160 counts per minute for the amount that's contained in that bowl right there of the Martin Light salt. So let's try the no salt. This has the 18% uh, uh, potassium um, amount in it so let's pour some of this in about an equal amount into the bowl. That's about, uh, that's about right. Let's reset our 44.9 detector. Get about an inch from the uh, exposed no salt. Let's see what kind of reading we get. We can audibly hear a, a higher uh, rate count than the Martin Light Salt. It's not dramatic, but you can actually hear the difference. So it's still climbing. Let's see where we uh, max out. Okay, well, the, uh, we're going a little bit over the 300 counts uh, per minute, but it seems to be, seems to be um, 
well, maybe 320 counts per minute. So definitely higher than the Morton Light Salt. So at 300 count, 320 counts per minute, and subtract the 40 from the background, we have a uh, we have a reading from this amount of no salt of about 280 counts per minute. So definitely higher than the uh, 200 counts per minute that we got here with the uh, light salt and then subtracting the 40 background we had about 160. So next we're going to try about an equal amount of the uh, potassium chloride. So we'll pour that into the bowl. I'm trying to be fair and putting about the same amount of, uh, of material. So take our Ludlum here, 449, about the same distance from the exposed sodium chloride, and see what reading we get. Okay, we're a little over 200 so far, but we'll give it a few seconds more. slightly and it looks like we're maxing out at about 260 counts per minute and of course we subtract the 40 from the background that leaves us with about 220 counts per minute from the actual uh, material well, actually we're approaching 300 counts per minute right now and that's about one inch from the source with the detector one inch from the source but I'm going to go ahead and call it at about 260 because it's uh, fluctuating a little bit there. We'll just go. We'll just go ahead and call it at 260 counts per minute. So slightly less than the uh, than the no salt uh, sodium free salt substitute. Interesting thing is these products are available in most com commercial uh, retail establishments. Um, Morton Light Salt and No Salt can be found in just about any Walmart or Target, AGB grocery stores and so forth whereas your potassium chloride is usually found in large bags and usually in crystalline form and uh, that you'll find at Home Depot, Lowe's and so forth. None of these products are are uh, very high radiation uh, risks to uh, human beings um, and so forth and the body has a way of regulating the potassium 40 that's ingested through the use of these two products right here so it's really nothing uh, to be worried about. Just uh, it is interesting that they're available to anyone, just about anywhere, and they are slightly uh, radioactive. Thank you very much for watching.